Hey, my name is Spencer Howe. I'm at Massachusetts General Hospital at Ellison MRI, MRI number two. It's a GE magnet, and I'm going to show you how the MRI audio system works. For GE magnets, the MRI audio system comes with technologist speakers, a digital amplifier, an iPad that acts as the music source, an audio transducer, pneumatic tubing, over your headphones, and in ear headphones that are inside the MRI suite. The MRI audio system has been designed to be easy to use and integrates the GE intercom directly into the patient headphones through the MRI audio system. To use the MRI audio system, make sure that the system is powered on, select a music source, the iPad comes pre-programmed with Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and YouTube Radio. I prefer Pandora because I think it's the easiest to use. Select a musician or genre and music will play for the duration of the patient's scan. In this case, I'm going to select U2. Select the radio station and hit play. The technologist speakers allow for the technologist to listen to what the patient's listening to and have their own individual volume control that does not affect the patient's listening experience. You can turn the music up or down without changing the volume in the headphones. Everything on the face of the amplifier is for the patient. That said, the primary two volume controls that you're going to use are microphone volume and music volume. You can adjust the microphone and music volume independently of one another. This can be useful if you want to make sure that the patient can clearly hear your voice commands and auto voice, which is channeled through the MRI audio system, but they don't want to listen to music too loud. In this situation, you would turn the music volume down and the microphone volume up. You can also adjust bass and treble. The power button is on the right-hand side of the digital amplifier. Notice that when the amplifier is turned off, you still see a blue light. Don't be fooled that it's on. Make sure that the power button is pushed in. When the power button is pushed in and music is playing, you'll see a green enunciator light illuminated underneath the music. Additionally, when the microphone is triggered, please do a breath hold, you will see a green light illuminate underneath the microphone volume. The microphone will override the music, and once you take your finger off the microphone, the music will come back on after five seconds. In addition to acting as a music source, the iPad also acts as a window of communication with MRI audio support. On the background of the iPad, you will see our email address, our phone number, and below the iPad you'll see the lock code to unlock the iPad. The iPad is set up with messaging. You can contact MRI Audio Support. Just message the word help or ask your question and we'll contact you immediately with a resolution. Additionally, since we are located in California, it's hard for us to get here immediately, but we can be here immediately virtually. Go ahead and FaceTime MRI Audio Support and sometimes we can help you troubleshoot the problem remotely. I am a strong believer that a picture is worth a thousand words, and since we've installed so many of these audio systems, we know them like the back of our hand. If we can see what's going on, we can help you troubleshoot. The MRI audio system comes with two sets of headphones, over-ear headphones and in-ear headphones. Both headphones can be mounted on the side of the magnet. The over-ear headphones clamp onto the side of the magnet, while the in-ear headphones clip in. The over-ear headphones are best used for extremity scans since they do take up a lot of space above the patient's face. The in-ear headphones are better for head scans and neck scans where you have to have a low-profile headset to fit inside of the head coil. The in-ear headphones provide 29 decibels of hearing protection and use disposable ear tips for each patient. You want to make sure that you change out the ear tips for each patient for sanitary purposes. Place an ear tip on each side and you'll notice that the ear tips swivel on a ball to fit each person's anatomy. Pinch the ear tips, they will rebound to their original shape within 30 seconds and make sure to get them deep in the patient's ear canals. You'll also notice that there's a garment clip. This is used to clip onto the patient's garment. Make sure that you have about five or six inches of slack in between the ear, the headphones and the garment clip. And when the patient's loaded into the MRI, the garment clip will relieve stress from pulling the, the headphones out of the patient's ears. 
And it's worth mentioning that the over-ear headphones do not require earplugs because they pro provide 29 decibels of hearing protection on their own. I'm going to include all of my contact information at the end of this video. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. My goal is to make your life as easy as possible, and I'm here to help. Additionally, the systems are fully warrantied, so if anything breaks, please do not hesitate to contact me. Our policy is to overnight replacement parts to your facility at no additional cost. Thanks and have a great day.